Evening loves, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with a night routine. We're starting off with a little bit of aromatherapy. For all of my essential oils, you can click the link. Tonight I'm using Ritual. I'm gonna watch this sunset for a little bit. It's the little moments. Once it gets dark enough though, I'm gonna close those blinds. There's a building that's really close to mine so I don't really want any peeping toms looking in. So once that's closed, I'm also gonna reach over and turn on my fairy lights. Oopsie. Because I'm extra like that, I'm gonna put some more essential oils in here. This time I'm tossing in some Roman chamomile. I'm also gonna throw on my Himalayan salt to set the mood, even though I'm not gonna be in this room for a minute. We're heading over to the bathroom where I'm gonna do a little bit of face care. My face is really problematic, which is why I spent a little extra time on this part of the regimen. I'm going in with a few good products. Almost all of these are my HGs. I've had them for a long, long time. But first, I gotta tie my hair up into a pineapple. Once upon a time, this hairstyle saved me so much that I would just have to spritz my hair in the morning. I don't know how I'm sleeping lately, but I have to do my hair all over again every day. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with this Muji cleansing oil. It's the best, it's all natural, and it's good enough to take off all of your makeup. After that, I'm going in with the OG Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It's the best. Have you tried it? And another oldie but goodie is the Clarisonic. I'm so sad that it's discontinued. Are there any things that have been discontinued that you miss? Maybe places in your city or products that you used to love using that the pandemic pushed out? After I've cleansed my face really well, I'm gonna wash off all the products pat dry and apply a mask. Tonight I'm feeling something moisturizing, which is why I'm going in with the Pharmacy Honey Potion. This one heats up as you use it. It's such a weird feeling, but your skin feels so soft when you're done. Now it's time to meditate. Self-care is not just about what you put on your body, it's what you put into your mind as well. So I'm gonna choose something that's gonna get me in a mindful mood, going on the Allo Moves app, which I showed you in my What's on my iPhone. The hardest part of meditation for me is finding the meditation I wanna watch. After I pick something that I think I'll like, I'm gonna set my phone down and zen out. Some nights I meditate for five minutes, other nights like tonight, 25. I had a really draining day. And this helps me reset my mind and find gratitude in the little things. Once my sash is done, I'm gonna turn on the light and head back to the bathroom. But first, I'm gonna go into my draw to get some draws, pick a panty, any panty girl, just pick a panty. Okay, she picked the blue one tonight. I don't know what that means, but okay. We're gonna head over to the bathroom with my PJs, turn on the water, heat up the shower. Voila. Okay, you guys missed a whole lot, so let's skirt, skirt, rewind. I'll show you what actually happened. I threw in a bath bomb. I have no idea what this is. I think it's Goddess. I know I got it from Lush months ago. Whatever it is, it smelled amazing. Perfect to help me relax. I sat in there for about an hour with some tea, and then I showered off, because I like to feel fresh after. I do a two-part shower, so I shower, then I scrub. Moisturizing is key. Can't be Ashy Larry over here. Then I'm gonna put on my acne medication. I have no idea what this is. It kind of works. If you've seen my skin before, you know how bad it was. Then I'm gonna apply some under eye cream. What else should I put? Oh, let's put this cream too. This helps with the wrinkles that are coming through just to resurface and renew the skin. Look, it's tea time part two. I'm tea obsessed, can you tell? This is the same tea I had before. It's half a lemon with about a quarter inch of ginger chopped. You can mince it if you prefer. 
I just toss it into my cup, put some boiling water, super simple. If you like something more sweet, you can add some natural honey. Lately, I've been going OD on the sweet, so I'm not adding any sweetener tonight. Now we're heading back over to here, where I'm gonna sit for a bit and sip. Sometimes I'll listen to a podcast or a movie on Netflix since I can't see my computer that far, but tonight I'm just sitting in silence, just reflecting on the day. Now it's time to brush them teeth. My little chicklets need love too. So I'm just gonna brush, brush, brush. Time to floss. I'm not gonna show you that because flossing is so nasty. Like honestly, how come they don't have anything better than flossing in 2021? My lips are always dry, so I have to moisturize. I'm just putting on my favorite lip mask. Then we're gonna head over to the head of my bed or whatever you call it and take off my decor pillars because we don't need all of that. I read one or two pages, not chapters, because that's all my eyes can take. Once I've done that, I'm gonna plug in my phone and call it a night. I never go on social at nighttime. I just don't wanna absorb all those other energies. I'm just gonna turn off my lamp and my fairy lights and good night. I hope that you enjoyed my night routine. Let me know what your night routine looks like and until next time, love and later.